Okay, we're back. Uh, just gotta do some editing. Run two. Let's throw past the party. What past the party? Wait. Lahi pass. <laughs> Is Kanto one past the passage? All right, I've returned. Okay. Uh, remember to change me to observers. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna change the observers. Change the seed. We are on Mars. That is okay. correct. Get a get three boring matches. <laughs> Mars is not boring. It's been around for what two and a half years now. Oh, uh, it's nice to have some you now different maps. What change, but. Yeah, I, I like this format where yeah. we do a few Mars. Polina says go. There we gotta go. Very nice. There you go. As soon as Peasant and Kanto hit ready. What? Cubes it. Mr. Cubes is Cubit? Say what? What? Seriously? Oh, old school player back. Is that is that true? Cubes is Cubit? I don't know, but I do know that we did start. Hello, everyone. Welcome to game number three of the third Casuals Tournament, featuring Peasant, Ichiban, Ayankanto, Tudbeck, and Rahi, all four strong players. So this should be quite a match. I'm Philothanic. Joining me today is Hexapus. Hexapus, what do you think about this map? Not... I. There are, much, there are a lot of resources, but they're not very nice. There's a... Robotic spot here. The, Where's this, here? Uh, on the to the north. North. Uh, I don't. I might like go for go. expansive up there. There's no expensive though. Here's the problem. Oh, there is no, no expensive. expensive. That's right. Scientist I mean, robot. I think I'll actually go for a nomad to the south, southwest. Yeah. And then go yeah, that... for an aluminum water patch somewhere. Yep, and that is yes. what Tudbeck is going to do. Three players all founding at the same time. Kanto with the strangest found, going for a scientist away from all the water. This is going to be necessary for teleportation. I can't agree with Kanto fan. Uh, well, peasant is nothing. nothing. Rahi. <laughs> uh, peasant needs to go for this scavenger spot. It's the only thing left. He could got actually some still nearby. go for a um, a normal spot to the southeast. Yeah, I mean, but that's only a medium and a low. I'd say the scavenger spot is better. You get there's a no scavenger. High... Oh, that's right. <laughs> Maybe you can't even go for a robot just north of Rahin and share the. Uh... Yeah, no, you're you're yeah. right then. Yeah, that's probably the better spot. Yeah. It's either a nomad to the southeast or the robot north of Rahi. Um, those are the two viable spots. Uh, yeah, the only problem with Peasant is he took a long time. And maybe he was having the problem that I was doing. He's like, oh, that's a great scavenger spot. Oh, wait, I can't find a scavenger. Yeah, there's no expensive spot, there's no scavenger. 2D back going into a nighttime solar condenser. Interesting well, move. <laughs> night doesn't last that long on Mars, unlike uh, Io, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, how's Kanto doing? Grab into water, probably go into food, I suppose? Triangle, probably triangle a triangle of, of reactors. Food. There are pirate or reactors. Well, pirates. Water pumps. Yeah, water pumps. Well, pirates are fine, you know. Unlike. Unlike uh, Magnetic Storm, where we'll just 
kill all this, your water. This oh. water pump for thirteen dollars worth of water doesn't seem worth it to me. It's probably an anti-piracy uh, measure. I guess. Anyway, everybody is on HQ two, so peasant has actually caught up decently well. Although peasant is seven k behind Rahi and Kanto, both with ten k, getting an early lead. That tactic says that Mr. Cubes is not Cubit, different okay. player. Okay, that's good. Well, I mean, I'd like to see Mr. Cubit come back. I've heard oh. things about him, but I've never played. Or seen oh, him I would love to see Kilbe coming back. I've seen him some in some old video, and he is definitely one of the best out, uh, players out there. Well, used to be. <laughs> now that's Death Tacticus, unquestionably. Yep. At so least in the FFA setting. Even yeah, at least in the FFA setting. Two D back went for his long, long um, wind, wind, turbine. wind turbine. Interesting. Ooh. I guess that's because Tudback is going a very interesting Nomad build, opening with only one high silicon. Well, so doesn't... I can't frame him for while well, silicon being so cheap, right? Maybe you're better off if I win yes turbine and, and No. <laughs> I mean, I can blame him a little bit, simply because... Having silicon would allow him to move into solar panels, which and it wouldn't really cost them anything. It'll allow him to get to HQ3 a little bit quicker. But he has uh, solar condensers anyway, so he has carbon set and run. Yeah, that's true. It's just you can put the solar panels next to your base, and oh, I guess the Nomad you, you can, can also your, return uh, cream. And, and you know, those uh, dry ice towers as well, you can always change them to dry ice. Yeah. So, Going for free wind turbine, I just, that's also good. I just think it's a little suboptimal. That's all. Not terribly suboptimal, just a little oh, bit. I don't, Rahi, I, try, I, I don't mind. I think it's a pretty good move not going to all that silicon. Well, we'll have to see how it plays out because we, we are in disagreement there. Yeah. Rahi is HQ3 going into a pair of wind turbines herself. Very nice. Finally grabbing some aluminum and going into some electronics. And one little side uh, benefit for having a power right up there is to have uh, your mine get an adjacency, power adjacency. So there's a bit more iron income for him. I mean for her. Nuke on Tudeback on that silicon, turning it from a high to a low. That and then Rahi... Rahi get the goon. Just a bit late, but not too bad. 30 second freeze. And, and then two back hit right back by Rahi. So both players only with one power each. Two back, however, is making power money. Making a lot of money. 53k in the bank this early. Decides to go for the upgrade instead of a HQ3 buy, which I would have been very tempted to do. Well, there's no one really for him to buy at this moment, so going for it doesn't HQ matter. Just buy forward. someone. The stock boost that you get is so high. I don't think you can get away with it. <laughs> Death Tacticus gets this. away with it all the time. Oh, uh, DT. I don't know, just the situation right now doesn't seem like the right call. I think upgrading would be the better call in this case. But I'm really weak at Nomad, so uh, <laughs> the buy was the right move, said Dubin. So maybe, maybe. 18,000 for a mule. But for a Seems a little bit high. Um, Kanto is on HQ3. Has a pair of wind turbines themselves in a debt. Uh, will be, although that is 43k, so it won't be making any power money anytime soon. Kanto also needs to think about moving into a patent lab for teleportation. Yeah, a patent lab with a teleportation and a superconductor. That would be fun nice for him. Yeah. Chemical so is really cheap is, too. 
Power's really cheap. Toothback is now has 71k, has a hacker array. It's definitely going to go for HQ4 majority buyout strategy. The only issue with going for it now is Rahi has a lot more money to potentially buy back in the Toothback versus earlier when I was thinking about it, Rahi did not have as much money to potentially punish Toothback for that greedy play. Aluminum. I think 2D bag is going to hack aluminum. What I mean, has? Well, 2 bag does have a 400 uh, aluminum stockpile right now, and it's steady hacking silicon, also 400. The 90k, 100k for 2 bag. Rahi just upgraded mistake. Yes. A very dangerous mistake with two I mean, sitting two back just... two back should buy in Arahi right now. Yeah, two D back should move in right now. Like right Rahi, now. Rahi the competitor. Uh Kanto might be a competitor once this teleportation goes off of but, but in the short have term. Rahi, right? Then you really have no fear. Nope. You... So hopefully peasant uh, sorry, two back. <laughs> Has 100% on everybody. What is Tubac waiting for? Waiting He's for the waiting for the hack to go through. I think that's a bit too greedy. He, he should just wait for it. Wait for Do someone. It. Right now. Come on, Tubac. Like, like, he has money to spare after buying someone. Arahi's thinking about buying herself up, but this isn't. There we go. Making the buy. This should be game for Tootback, assuming, yeah, especially since he's defended himself. It can be very hard to see how Kanto. Peasant, probably not going to be a challenger. Well, Kanto with teleportation scientist, probably the next closest. The, the best thing that for Peasant and Kanto to do is to buy into Tootback, just to slow him down as much as possible. Mm hmm. If, if they buy into 2D back, he can't sell up his stocks. Fortunately, Peasant doesn't have enough money to even buy one share. <laughs> Kanto can buy one, and that's it. Um, yeah, so that's not not really going, and a lot of that money is tied up in this teleportation patent. Seems uh, like 2D back with teleportation get the buy. 10k. Yeah, 2D back's going to get the buy. Rahi really needs to check and see how much money other players have before you get that upgrade. Um, you can do that not in observer mode just by hovering over and looking at that cash plus resources. And I think that's the top line. Back then, 2 dB has enough money that you will have seen the 50% 50% uh, warning. Can we uh, petition Soren to make ramen a bleeped out word? <laughs> uh, he probably won't buy it. Okay, well, I can hope. Anyway, Boys dream. Toot back with the sub on in Rahi. Kanto just went up for the upgrade to oh. HQ4 with their money. Seems like Kanto has a suicide wish too. 2D back and just find the Kanto. Yep. Didn't learn from Rahi's mistake. No, they didn't. So 2 back is just going to... Is... What is 2 back waiting for? He doesn't have a hack going off. Maybe he just didn't notice. I don't know why he's waiting. He's building, he's transitioning into some glass mm -hmm. which is interesting because oh. glass only earns him seven dollars a second well that's what is a lie right? in... he has so much silicon oh, stock power right so, so yeah that's a lot higher you can also just sell out of his stock because nobody can threaten him at this point sell out no. of all your stock well, take out Kanto. there they're selling the stocks what's your Kanto? Uh, the person can only Dread the game on, which is important because timing is uh, the finish time yeah, is the tiebreaker. Tie right New building is available for 
So Pearson is going for Fainting Machine. I'm not sure that's worthwhile. Quite frankly, I don't think the game will last so long for Fainting Machine to matter. Uh, maybe a Carbon Scrubbing would be a better bet. Hacker Array Auction. Congratulations. 18,000, that's reasonable. Mm -hmm. You can counter hacks, you can hack stuff that 2 bat doesn't have. Um, Assuming the peasant realizes that this is a Hacker Array, which there unfortunately is no spies, and no network viruses. Well, we can always dynamite it, right, if you don't like it. Well, I'm saying there's no way for a uh, peasant to know that this is actually a hacker array. Because it was built, not a. Um, oh, it's built? Okay, not an auction. Not auctioned. Peasant can defend himself, so. So the game will last longer. Yeah. I'm a fan of removing the uh, hologram for the hacker array in FFAs. Uh, actually, I'm a. I like the hacker array as it is now. Uh, otherwise, you know, we can never get hacked on. Yeah, but you have the situation where someone has a oh, peasant didn't know that they could defend peasant, themselves. Oh, uh, peasant failed to defend himself. But so you have a situation right now where there's literally no way to reveal a hacker array with no network viruses and no spies. Well, even if you network spies, right? If you always spy, you don't know what they're hacking. Well, yeah, that's true. But you at least know it's a hacker, right? Well, you know the hacker array is somewhere. Right? Then you can somewhat guess. You will have to... Yeah. I don't know. Maybe... I really don't know. Maybe you, they... you, would, you would have to go... It, you'd have to be thinking very critically. You'd have to notice that there's an optimization center over here that's, quote, working. And then you have to go look at Tudback and see that Tudback isn't doing any optimizations. That that's a pretty big mental lift in an FFA. It's possible. It's possible, but I don't know. Hacker array. I, I don't. Being... I don't. I don't fault any players, any of the other players, for not doing that while the game's going on. Yeah, but you know, you can always attack. A building that's in the colony far away from your base just to waste its time building. I don't know. Yeah, but you but, uh, also. Like, I remember the hologram was added because uh, no, no one, nobody was using the hacker array. Well, now uh, plenty of people are using hacker array. <laughs> anyway, back to this game instead of arguing about the hologram, I was just brought it up because I thought we would have like 10 minutes, like 5 minutes to kill before peasant didn't defend themselves. Where did Tootback make all that money? From aluminum. Because uh, all of the 110k oh. aluminum. 100, 100k after purchasing for silicon. Yep, that's it. Yep. Silicon Aluminum Monopoly for the victory with Tudback. There really wasn't any other aluminum on the map, was there? Uh, Kanto got one but got nuked out. Rahi had one that was nuked out. Yeah, everything else is Lowe's. Yep. Also power on... Um, Power during that HQ three phase for yep. two back also important. So I so um, the oh. single wind turbine is better than two silicon mine. In a sense. That uh, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. The the single wind turbine keep him out there, and uh, by the time he got I guess HQ you three. Were proven correct. Yep. I'm Although it. there is no counterfactual, <laughs> we can't really prove it either way. Either way, yeah. But, but I, you, you were, we were more correct than I was. I'll yeah, admit it. Yep. That was a good game. Two D back. Uh, farewell, play by two D back. 
Yeah, very well played by TD Bag. Mistakes by everyone else. Some things for our players to clean up. Uh, yeah, you probably want game. to defend your aluminum a bit better. Probably, especially yeah. for Rahe. Because... Aluminum is one of those things that it's really hard to... If you haven't been in a game where someone rides an aluminum monopoly to the win to the victory, it's one of those things that you just don't think about it. Yeah, because they usually stay kind of cheap because most people will get into it. But mm -hmm. You can't always depend like, on that. Um, I now check every single game for aluminum after Blues absolutely crushed me due to a aluminum monopoly. Yeah, you but should... before then, it wasn't ever on my mind. Yeah, I do have a habit of checking. Uh, I try to remember to check for aluminum income for the home app uh, when I go to HQ2 if I don't have aluminum already. Um, something to keep in mind when you, um, when yeah. you upgrade to HQ2. Well, our, let's see, what are we? Soul 5 2120. I don't think I have. Well, it's already been recorded. So, fine that I don't have the uh, permissions to add it. Yep. So, we are the let's first go, group to finish. We are the first group. Let's go see what's going on elsewhere in the off world tournament. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to cut my stream here. I'll be back for round four while I watch the other games. What do we have? We have poor sheep with two victories and then everybody else with one. Now that 